What's up YouTube? Coming at you with an MTG Triple Booster Pack opening. Uh, you typically find these at Walmart and Target. This one in particular comes from Target. Now, for those that might not remember, back in May of 2013, I actually bought one of these from Walmart, Triple Booster Pack. And, uh, you know, I thought I knew all the packs looking at the side of the wrappers. And to my surprise, what I thought was the Dark Ascension pack turned out to be a pack of Apocalypse, which is from like 2001. You know, commonly, these uh, these triple booster packs uh, are filled with either um, packs in the current standard set or um, packs that have just recently rotated from standard. Not a decade-old pack. Uh, so that was back in May of 2013, and ever since then, every time I'm at Walmart or Target, I always check these out to see uh, if there's any hidden gems. And uh, it's been a year and a half, but guess what? I think we've got one. It's this top pack, and when I first looked at it, uh, this is obviously Dragon's Maze. This one is Born of the Gods. When I first looked at this, um, I thought it was Onslaught. I was pretty sure it was going to be Onslaught. However, I did kind of think that the uh, this coloration had kind of a bronzish tint to it. And you can actually, uh, I don't know if I can, you can see this, but you can actually see the, uh, the code there. Uh, so I typed it in, looked it up. Looks like it's a pack of legions, which is still really freaking cool because that's from 2003. Uh, so I got another "Has this happened to you?" moment, and uh, so we're gonna open that up because legions is pretty cool. Uh, the other two sets are not the greatest, but let's see if we're right. Legions, sweet. So we're definitely gonna have some fun opening this old pack because I like old packs. We're gonna start with um, Born of the Gods. Just crack right to the uh, the uncommons here. We've got a uh, Shrike Harpy, Archetype of Aggression, Rage Monger, and Hero of Liana Tower, and nothing else. Get into some Dragon's Maze. I guess we're just looking for Voice of Resurgence. Maybe uh, pull a Shockland, but other than that, this set was pretty poopy. Going to the uncommons, we've got a uh, Scab Clan Giant, Rot Farm Skeleton, Goblin Test Pilot, and Varel of the Whole Clad. Oh, and a Steam Vents. We just talked about Shocklands. Man, pulled a uh, Steam Vents from Dragon's Maze. That is freaking awesome. So already, this is a pretty good triple pack, triple booster pack. But look at this, Legions. Back from 2003. Now, this was an all-creature set, uh, but still some pretty good ones. I think the money card we're after would be the Seedborn Muse, but uh, I know a Chroma was in it, and, of course, lots of amazing slivers. All right, so we're going to go through these ones one by one. We got a Plated Sliver. This is obviously a very good one. I like it a lot. A uh, Gem Palm Polluter. Uh, Echo Tracer. An Antuco Vigilante. This guy sees some cube play. Mace Tail Histrodon. The uh, Deft Blade Elite. Patron of the Wild. Bloodstoke Howler. Keen Eye Avon. This is a kind of a fun card, too. I think this was in the um, that one recent uh, Magic Online draft set. Um, had a lot of the cycling stuff. Wing Beat Warrior. A Goblin Firebug. First uncommon is Liege of the Axe. Soldier. It's pretty cool. Morph guy. Then we got a uh, Mistform Wake Caster. Cool. And a White Knight. Classic. And our rare is... Beacon of Destiny. <laughs> I don't think this is uh, worth much. But, uh, man, it's so much fun to open old packs. So it only took a year and a half to find another old pack hidden away in one of those triple boosters. Uh, but definitely not sad because pulled a shock land. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you all later.